with um, your advanced bow hand and the G major scale. So we're doing our two octave G major scale and let's do first without the metronome and then we'll add the metronome, okay? So follow my tempo.
for our A major scale. We're having a little bit shorter lesson than usual. Um, but let's go on to some of your review pieces from the beginning of book one, still with your new bow hand, which is looking good. Make sure that you have a round hole on the inside. Mm -hmm. So hold your bow up like this and just, can you just wiggle your thumb a little bit to make sure that it's a soft thumb? Good, very good. So we've got that soft, open hand on the bow. Okay, so let's start from, I'll just give you the introduction and you'll know which song it is.
Um, the staccato notes were all even. This has gotten so much better in the past few weeks, especially, where your tempo, your speed is even every time, and you're not speeding up to super speed racer tempo anymore. So good. <laughs> much better. Okay, now, one more detail that we can add that, well, not that we can add, but that we can polish up a little bit is the dynamics. So when we're doing a staccato forte, if we use a a small amount of bow and press really hard, what do you think happens to our sound? Scratchy. Yeah, it gets scratchy. So if we want it to be forte and still have that stopped sound, we just have to use a little bit more bow. And since we're gonna be doing a faster bow. Okay, so when if you just if you try to use the same amount of bow as before, you know what happens right, because it's too much pressure on the string. So let's go from that, that scale that goes downward, this one. Okay, which is this part. Beautiful, okay. How about the next one? Do you think this is the easiest or the hardest one? Easiest. easiest. Some people it's the hardest, because it's a strange bowing. I have, I have a pencil. If oh, I don't want to take your pencil. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Great. So etude um, in the forte section, long bows. We need more bow. Okay. Um, next, why don't we do your recital piece? So today we just happen to have a run through later today with the pianist. Um, so she's going to do it with the piano accompaniment later um, as a run-through for the recital, which is happening next week. So, yeah, it's soon. <laughs> well, this is good practice for your recital, isn't it? Because you have an audience. You can go, and the, and the recital will be a little bit bigger audience. But it's still really good practice. So why don't you um, play your Andantino 
or your recital piece, and we'll play it as if it were a performance. So that means, like, if you make a mistake, what do you do? Don't make a face or don't stop. Right. Very good. And, yeah, and then everyone will think it's right. Don't worry. <laughs> Actually, yeah, why don't you turn and face as if that you're really in this performance? Yeah. That's good. <laughs> That's good. You're good. Thank you. 